I'm out of the nope. bathroom. You've been in nope. there. You've been, Erica, you've been in there for half an hour. I need the bathroom. Dad. Open the, open the door. Come in. <laughs> what are you doing in here? What took you so long? Scissors, get, hey, oh, you're, you're serious. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm sick of my long hair. I'm sick of people telling me that I have this beautiful long hair and this is the only thing, <laughs> what, that this is, I want to be beautiful independently of my hair or I don't want to be beautiful. Erica, but you are beautiful. And so is your hair. <laughs> I'm not sure what you want me to say. Your hair? No, wait, wait. You're beautiful. It doesn't matter. It's not your hair that makes you beautiful, but... That's nice, actually. <laughs> Shut up, Dad. Or... <laughs> you know what? Whatever you want to do, I'm fine with this. What's, what's happening oh. with, right now? Wow. It's really, you're doing it. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. No, don't cry. It's fine. Do you want me to cut it? Do you want me to cut it? No? I'll cut it. Okay, you can cut it. Oh, Erica. Oh, why are you crying? You're beautiful no matter what. Do you want me to shave my head? I would never, ever judge you by something as trivial as the hair on your head. To me, you're beautiful on the inside, and you're beautiful on the outside. Whatever you want to do with your hair, whatever you want to do is fine with me. But the rest of society will judge her now that she doesn't have me on her head anymore. <laughs> okay, this is something that happens in our family. <laughs> I, I didn't want you to <laughs> have to hide, you know? I mean, just... Grandma's here! <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? Let me in! It's freezing out! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, John. I'm My sorry. knuckles hurt from knocking! <laughs>
Hey, Julie. Hi. Hi, nice to see you again. Hey. <laughs> good to see you, too. How's work? Uh, it's, it's been good. I mean, uh, I mean, flipping burgers at Burger King isn't my favorite, but, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's a job. Exactly, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's I'm just going to work on the car, but I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay. Um, so, hey, Grandma. Yes? What's, uh, what's your stance on gay rights? I'll have some tea. Tea would be lovely, oh, thank no, no, you, no, no. yes. I guess, I'll, I'll take care of you. Okay. Mint's <laughs> fine, mint's fine. Are you avoiding the question, Oh, I'm sorry, dear. I've just been so busy. Let me tell you about my life. <laughs> you know, I went to finishing school. <laughs> and then I fell in love with your grandfather. And we were married, of course. In 1947. In 1947, that's right. You've been listening. Oh, wow, that's a long time to be married. Thank you. They got divorced two years ago. It's still <laughs>
taste in flowers and that you know all about them. I'm doing the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would really, really like that. That would mean a lot to me. Will we get to go to Oregon? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely. Unfortunately, Texas is just not the place. Yes, son? <laughs> what does it mean to be a man? <laughs> You've come to the right man to ask that question, my boy. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Run and lay. Why don't you take a seat? Take a knee. Or a seat. No, a knee. He's fine. Good. The first thing. Good to perfect. Good decision. Decisiveness. That's the first thing you need to know. Yeah. You need to know how to make a decision and stick to it. Stick by it. Stick to itiveness. That's another thing about it. <laughs> stick to itiveness, decisiveness. When you make a decision, I'll take questions at the end. I need to grab a notebook. Sure. Sure. Actually, no, son, son. Yes. You don't need a notebook. Everything you need to know, you'll remember. And if you don't remember it, you can come and ask me. Or maybe you should write it down, because I'm I'm busy. Okay, grab, grab your notebook. <laughs> good. Okay. Good. Yes, stick the notebook's good. Stick to itiveness. <laughs> stick to itiveness, decisiveness. And the question was about how to be a man, is that it? Uh yeah. Well what what does it mean? What oh, what does it mean to be a man? Man, man, to be a man, man for time, my memorial, men have been men. <laughs> yes. Write that down. <laughs> My father was a man. Hold your questions till the end. I'll... My father was a man. I'll take questions now. How do you spell immemorial? Immemorial. Um, just tried long time for a long time. It's fine. Spelling isn't really that important. I mean, it's, it's no, it's not. Decisiveness is more important than spelling. Don't write that, though. It sounds weird. <laughs> to be a man, you must provide, um, provided you have someone to provide for. To be a man, it's, it's actually, when you get right down to it, it's hard to define. Um, uh, good? Are, you, are your knees hurting? Uh, my one knee was, yeah. I okay. I would say um, maybe be strong. Um, if your knee's hurting, stick it out. Stick it out of this. <laughs> I have another knee, though. I thought I'd, I thought I'd switch that. Kind Ingenuity. Of thing. Very good. Uh, so which comes first? Stick it out of this or ingenuity? Hmm. Um, what do you think, son? <laughs> yes. Perhaps it's time for you to make a decision. <laughs> Perhaps we should turn this whole thing around. I'll tell you what, my boy. How old are you? Eight. <laughs> yes, well. Do you really not know that? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I dropped the notebook. Uh, here, I'll grab this notebook. You stand up. No, I knew you were eight. I knew you were eight. Yes, eight years old. You were born eight years ago. If I recall. <laughs> yes. Now, I wasn't a man until I was nine, and neither shall you be. <laughs> but I'd like you to, for a moment, imagine. Imagine what is it like to be a man. And now I'll ask you, father as son to son as father. Father, son. What is it to be a man? To, um, um, to have a, a wife. <laughs> to have a wife, or sometimes 
two throughout your life. <laughs> I'll just add that. Or <laughs> throughout your life, any number is fine. One is preferable, but two is fine. Come and sit next to me, son. A few things to explain. Well, your father, me, namely, well, he's lived a long life, and he, I'll call him me if you don't mind, I, I was married twice, and the second time's the charm. <laughs> Second time's a charm. Your mother is a wonderful woman. You are now a man. End of conversation. Good call. <laughs>